All right, this video is uh, going to be for the good investigators out there. Um, you know, I mentioned in a voice message I sent to my daughter that in a, at a very deep philosophical perspective, I absolutely believe that the, the attacks on me had the legs that it had because of my spiritual gifts and for control and all that. And I definitely believe that at the highest level. I also believe that a lot of this was born out of my sister's insecurities because I've always dealt with a one-sided sibling rivalry my entire life. Um, now, I'm a Pisces rising. As a Pisces rising, I grew, you know, I have Gemini in the fourth, which means I grew up with master manipulators. I always knew, which is part of the reason I have the intuitive abilities that I have because I grew up with the best manipulators around. And I was always taught and believed that the master was my grandfather, Alex, and he was a great one. He was a master manipulator, a self-made millionaire, and kind of really gangster, if I'm being honest. Like he didn't give a fuck, you know? And uh, so it was easy for me to believe that. What I've learned now at 45 years, six years old now, is that my father is actually the master, okay? My father is the best of them all. And um, I do believe, okay, now I have, um, intuitive gifts. One of those gifts being I have the ability to access the dream world and, uh, you know, play around in there consciously. And I was doing this a lot. I was heavy. I'm not as much into it right now because I have too much on my plate in, in the real world. So it's like, I'm not worried about the dream world at this point, but I was heavily into this for about five years. And one time in 2019, I remote viewed over to my father's house, told him exactly what, what he was, he, where he was sleeping, what he was wearing. And I fucking freaked him out. All right. I remember the look on his face still. And, um, and I now believe after studying my case and my situation the way that I have, just like on April 6th when the cops were banging on the door for five minutes right next to his bedroom and I had, and it took me like, I was like, you know, he's a very light sleeper. He came out of the, his bedroom with this stupid look on his face, like, oh, like he was scared and surprised. Um, he also claims that when my mother was killed in 2010 or my, my mother died in 2010, he claims that he was sleeping in the other room and she apparently choked to death on her own saliva. I absolutely believe my father killed my mother. Um, I also believe that my grandfather who died in my home when I was, I believe I was 17 years old. I think it was around 98 or seven, somewhere in there. It was a long time ago. I was a, I was a kid. I don't remember the exact date, but uh, he supposedly took a medication that he was allergic to and, uh, and he died and it was a horrible experience. And my father hated my grandfather, Alex, for reasons I'll get into another time, but everybody knows how much my, my father hated my grandfather. And I was made to believe growing up that my grandfather was this demon. And maybe he was. He wasn't a nice man, I'll tell you that. But what I am convinced of now, the re you know, nothing ever happens for any one reason. So all my philosophies about, you know, big money and all that, sure. But, and, and my, my sister's insecurities, absolutely. I've dealt with that my whole life. But also my father, um, I believe when I started to get into accessing the dream world and remote viewing and telling him what he was wearing and these types of stuff, I believe that freaked him the fuck out. And he used his connections in the community to try to stop me from finding out who and what he was truly about, you know, and, uh, which is ironic because honestly, if he would have just left me the fuck alone, I never would have focused on him the way that I have. And I never would have come to this profound understanding is my belief at this point in time, at least. Um, but yeah, so my father, Richard Macker is a very, very sick man, um, who is, I under, and I've always known that. All right. But I just didn't understand the extent of it. And he's very good at playing victim and playing kind of stupid when he's not stupid at all. He's probably smarter than me. If I'm being a hundred, he's older now. So not anymore. When he was my age and from just a purely intellectual perspective, smoke me. I just have better intuitive gifts. You know what I mean? But, but if he's trying to like, He's a very, even at his age of 72 years old, highly fucking intelligent, all right? And, uh, and only because he's older now and he's lost a few steps and I've caught him I, and I've been studying him like a damn hawk. You know, I also have Chiron, Chiron retrograde on my birth chart, which many people do, but um, it, I, it, it emphasizes a deep need to try to heal myself and everything around me, almost to, a, to the extent to where it's a sickness for me. Like, it's like, I need to like chill out on the healing, you know what I mean? Anyway, so I just wanted to get this out there, you know, for the good investigators out there, um, so hopefully we can get some resolution, you know, not only for my family, but for beyond my family, because it, people, we need people of character in powerful positions. We need our Sergeant in DeBerry. We need to be able to go with, go to him. If there's an actual crime, not to be the damn criminal, you know what I mean? It's, it's just a problem. So, all right. Thank you very much. Later.